another week of outfits. Some of you may recognise this dress. I'm styling it a bit differently. I do love the way I originally refashioned the dress, but I also want to make sure that I keep wearing it so that I am being responsible and making sure that I wear all my remakes and any other garments that I do have. So with this one, which, which I found quite fascinating, in order for me to be able to wear it in different ways, I found the two ways in which to actually wear this dress. So I'm going to put a link to the the video tutorial in the description so you can go and go ahead and have a look to see how I wear it. They kept like the original way I suppose, but we always need options don't we? So um, in order for us to keep wearing, so this option I'm wearing it with a belt, it's quite a wide belt. It's, it's a belt that I wear with jacket so it's a little bit loose but it's still doing the job that's the most important thing and I just love what I've come up with it's cute anyway I can't wait to show you so let me bring the camera down once I finish accessorizing myself so I'm going to be teaming it with this scarf I've got silver earrings in that picks up the hardware that's in my belt. Check for it that side actually. Yeah, there we go. And the scarf actually is a pattern, like a floral crazy pattern that just complements the dress and the border, which is very burnt orange brownie colour picks up on my bag and also the fact that I've got a pad yeah that's nice I like when I do bows and they're kind of interfering with my face a little bit and doing what he, doing what he wants to do so I'm going to leave it like that um, so yeah so there we go and I've got bangle on and I'm going to be teaming it with these sunglasses <laughs> I bet you can't wait to see the bottom half of me now can you <laughs> Sides. I'll give you a little twirl. So yeah, so what I did, I brought the fins <laughs> on the side, and I kind of put them across my body like this. So it's creating creating this nice illusion, almost of being. I'm going to use the word slimmer, but I don't necessarily want to go down that road, but. It just gives it a different look, which I find so fascinating. And when you walk as well, it has its own... I'm going to be here all day. <laughs> I know your time is valuable. So let me just finish off with showing you what bag I'm going to go for. It's going to be in this one. And my shoes are an animal print. Shoe. And I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Once you've hit the subscribe button, don't forget to hit the bell in order to receive notifications of when I upload, which is on a Wednesday where I do my tutorials or refreshing clothing, and also Friday where I show you how I team that with other pieces that are in my wardrobe. So if you're into that sort of thing, it definitely is worthwhile subscribing. It's been a while since I bought this dress. <laughs> and, oh, I'm, I'm still in love with it. I really am. I do say this about all my mates, I can't help it. Please, please do accept my apology. <laughs> um, but it's so cute, it's so gorgeous. Um, I've teamed it this time with the, this was part of the original dress that I also made into a t a detail on a t-shirt as well as the sleeves on this dress. So I would usually wear this with the t-shirt because they go so well together, but you know sometimes it, to change the look, to keep on wearing what you have refashioned, I mean that's what you've got to do, haven't you? 
The only thing is that I think I'm missing one or two red details. So I'm thinking about, I need some red earrings. Hmm, I might have to invest in some red earrings because I do have a couple of red outfits. I do have a stack of red bangles. Don't ask me where they are because I just don't know where they are at the moment. Oh, I hope I haven't lost them. And uh, yeah, I do have quite a few, well not few, a couple or so, red handbags. So yeah, it does make sense I should get some red earrings, the same thing. But anyway, I have a red lip and I've tied this into kind of like a cute little bow at the back. It's not really a bow, I've just put it on and pulled it and it looks so much like a bow, it's so cute. I just love the way it's it's doing its own thing. It really is doing its own thing. I, I did not do this. I just put it on, tied it, it's like, ooh, that looks cute. I don't even think I've done this technique when I've worn the shirt, the t-shirt. At least I don't think so. Anyway, so I'm in a black dress and I haven't really kind of really paid much attention to this frill detail here. At one point I actually thought, oh, it's just there because I wanted to use all of the dress. But no, the more I wear it, it's, it would look so different without it and I wouldn't want to remove it. I mean, perhaps I would if I wanted a total different look, you know, like a couple of years down the line and I may tire of this look. Um, I may remove this. But at the moment, no, it, it's, this little apron section is so cute. Anyway, let me continue with what I am going to show you how I am going to finish this off. It's going to be quite simple with it. Just going to go for a red handbag. I'm wearing some um, wedges, some sandal wedges, and that's it really. You don't have to add anything to something that's already gorgeous. Wouldn't you agree? Let me show you the bag. I've shown you this bag before, so this is a bit red bag that I'm going to be carrying with it. I don't think I've worn this bag with this though, I'm not sure. Um, so yes, so it looks so cute. I'm coming. <laughs> I'll show you the bottom half of me. t-shirt on <laughs> oh I think I'm now going to be, become a t-shirt wearer and have a huge collection mm, maybe, maybe not but I love this t-shirt I have done a couple of t-shirt projects before but um, maybe it's because it's been a while that um, I haven't really thought about t-shirts but they're such a versatile garment to wear, aren't they? Um, so yeah, so I think this has got me back into uh, thinking about t-shirt projects, actually. Yeah, definitely. So um, yeah, for those of you that don't know, um, I do on a Wednesday a refashion project, and today is Wednesday, and I'm now showing that off, as you can see. So for my outfit of the week, it's, it's um, the weather is saying I may come out some point, the sun, but it's going to tease us, I'm sure it will make an appearance. But this is what I'm wearing today, it's this refashioned t-shirt with a pair of pants from the CGL collection, so I did actually design pattern draft and sew these pants that I'm going to show you in a moment. So how am I going to finish this off? Let me see, how am I going to style this? Um, I am just going to, I've just got my silver bracelet on that I always wear. I've got some white loafers on and I've got pinstripe pants on. With inseam pockets, I'm going to go for, why not, some white sunglasses to aid with the black and white look that I'm sporting right now and then I'm going to have just a pop of colour with my handbag which is here which I sported earlier in the week I'm sure it's not last week 
So yeah, that's my outfit for today. I am so ready for summer, but summer isn't ready for me. It's cold. So I'm wearing a top. The thing that I'm wearing today, I have refashioned or made. Um, there would have been the pants <laughs> if I decided to go for the lightweight pants, but it's too cold. It is too cold. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm wearing this t-shirt with a scoop neck and a bit of sequin glamour. I'm going to put my jacket on because it's cold. I'm going to go for my blazer actually, my school blazer. No, it's a school inspired blazer. My blazer at school was navy actually, it's just a plain solid colour. But yes, yes, oh, ready for this British weather. I'm going to put the collar up because I said it's cold. Um, I'm wearing a choker, my silver earrings and my dangly silver and yeah, I think that I bet you can call my diamonds. <laughs> Not <laughs> um, bangles, and I'm wearing some uh, jeans, and I've got white loafers on. Um, why am I wearing white loafers? I don't know. <laughs> They're just the nearest thing to me, and it's like I think it's because I'm cold. <laughs> I'm cold. I think I, I would have worn. Let me show you what I would have worn. Because it's going to go in a monotone colour today, I was going to wear my slip on ones, these blue blue ones with a bit of silver. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I do line my clothes up for what I'm going to be wearing throughout the month actually. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's just cold. Anyway, let me continue with what I'm wearing. So, um, yeah, so I'm wearing a blazer. I'm going to keep this colour up for now and show you the back the bag that i'm gonna go for is this one it's so summery this bag so denim inspired even though it's, it looks more like a tweed fabric bag but it costs body like so cool. keep warm yeah yeah, that sneaker today. No, I'll wear sunglasses. I'll wear some sunglasses. Where are my sunglasses I'm going to be wearing? Um, okay, I'll go for these ones. No, I won't. Uh, I'll go for these ones. <laughs> I was thinking about those ones because I'm wearing a jacket, because these ones were, is what I was going to initially wear, because um, it just matched with my footwear. Well, it's just too cold and today, you, you know, you just get those days where you just think, I just need to wear something that's going to keep me warm. And this look is good. I like it. It's me. I'll bring you down. It's almost the weekend and I'm hoping the weather's going to be amazing for the weekend because it hasn't been that good for the week. So what I'm wearing today, I haven't refashioned anything or made anything. The dress, and um, yeah, this is a dress. Um, it's ready to wear, I've had it a while. I'm sure for those of you who've been following me for a while, you've also seen me style it in different ways. So yes, the pole neck's back out. <laughs> One just has to keep warm. I always wear this necklace whenever I wear this dress. I don't know why. I just gravitate towards it. It's almost so the dress says, you cannot wear me unless you're wearing this too. Um, so yeah, so I'm wearing a pole neck and also a cardigan. I ruched the cardigan a little bit because it's not, it doesn't reach my wrist bone. And um, can, it works. I think it works because of the buttons. So there's a bit of attention to detail there and it's like oh is that is that cardigan as well as 
yeah, sort of thing, situation going on. <laughs> Details matter, they do. So I'm also wearing it with a belt, with a silver buckle. The necklace has got like a black and a bronzy effect to it. Um, even though I am, the accessories I am teaming it with are going to be silver, which is fine. It's okay, it's only a small amount, it's good balance. So I've got silver earrings, I've got silver buckle on my belt. I'm going to team it with crossbody bag. It also has silver hardware, like so. They can need a silver bracelet, my famous. Yeah, I do like this bracelet actually. I've had it, I've had it a very, very, very long time as well. And yes, and I'm just wearing shoes. So I'll bring you down so you can see the rest of me. all about refashioning of old or even new clothing and I also add this element on a Friday where I show you how I team my refashion projects with garments that I have designed, pattern drafted and so and also ready to wear pieces. So if you are into that sort of thing it definitely is worth subscribing to my channel for the Wednesday tutorial of refashioning and also Friday so you should, I can share some tips and help you with advice about how to team those projects with garments that already exist in your wardrobe. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, please do share. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell in order to receive not no notifications. And I will see you next time.